very very tired now and it's very very late i don't know what is wrong with my sewing machine when i took the machine there the first thing that she asked me was and that's one of the advantage of having more than one sewing machine how i package my item how i ship everything off to the amazon warehouse <music> These are the fabric that I use in making my breathable hair bonnet. I believe in the picture on the screen. I got um, three of the pink and four of the black. I'm going to be making 60 hair bonnets today. 30 of these and 30 of these. 10 each of three sizes. Small 10, medium 10 and large 10. And same with this normally one of these is enough for me to make about six hair bonnets if i'm going to be doing just size small so i don't know how i'm going to do this maybe i'll go tomorrow morning to get more fabric i don't know but at the moment these are the ones that i'm going to be using and let's see how many hair bonnets i'll be able to make with these fabrics so i've already started trimming the fabrics i just wanted to show you guys i'm trimming the size small this is it and after trimming 10 of um, size small i'm going to trim 10 of size medium and then large and then go and repeat the same process with the pink fabric i've made a video showing you guys how i make my pattern the video tutorial was about the size small pattern the reason why having a pattern is very very important is it prevents you from repeating the process of folding fabrics into different shapes and form before um, cutting the fabric if you're already having the pattern all you have to do is to place the pattern on top of the fabric use a pin to hold it in place so to prevent the pattern from moving or you can use anything that is heavy on top of the pattern trim around the pattern and then your fabric is ready for you to sew and it's also nice to have your patterns in different sizes Are the fabric that i trimmed here is um 10 pieces of size small 10 pieces of size medium and one piece of size large the reason is because the fabric wasn't enough for me to do what i wanted to do so tomorrow i'm going to be purchasing um, another fabric so that i will be able to make 10 of size large i like this pink it looks very it looks very very curly this is the black i was able to get 10 of size small 10 of size medium and i think about six or seven of size large um because i got four pieces of the black fabric so i was able to make seven or six of um size large so yeah these are the fabrics This God is a miracle God, oh. wonderful God, oh. as a one, no oh. miracle working God, miracle God, oh. wonderful God, oh. as a one, no, oh. I it's a miracle working God. These are the fabric that I'm going to be using and these are the fabric that I trimmed but I am not sure these are going to be enough for me but at the main time I'm going to be using these and if there's going to be need for any other fabric I'm going to be trimming other fabrics. From what I'm able to calculate like that I think this should be enough for me to make about 12 to 15 um, air bonnet these ones not less than 12 and not more than 15 it can be 13 14 who knows and this should be enough for me to make um from 15 to about 20 bonnet so let me go into working and later i'll show you guys what i'm able to do i'm very very tired now and it's very very late maybe i might continue today or maybe tomorrow early in the morning i don't know but i i will have to do what i 
think I will be able to do today. I for me commando to roll a no maro no for mo bado this guy kind of life one minute man come so why you for take on personal if not for grace where we for day oh baba show us the way I just finished putting the elastic band into the bonnet finished with the pink and i'm going to repeat the same process with the black and then i'm going to sew the elastic bands together now i'm holding them in place with the pin yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. crispy baby Na 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 Yeah I don't wanna do like Johnny We know I appreciate your love I don't wanna be like Polo Where they mess with your body Baby let me undo you like egg Like a breakable plate Baby let me carry you like egg Like a breakable plate Oh no no Hey guys Good morning I don't know what is wrong with my sewing machine i i was sewing yesterday and all of a sudden i heard a noise and then the needle got broken i had to fix it by putting in a new needle and after then i couldn't sew i can sew normally if i'm sewing like one layer or two layers of fabrics but every layers of fabrics has become difficult for me to sew i tried continuously to finish this up to finish this up because I have the space to cover but I couldn't because as you can see the thread it will just gather thread and then the um, the thread will go off because this is like more than two layers so this is like um, I think four because you're having this part that is folded into two and then you're having the other part that is folded into two so let's say four layers that i'm trying to sew here but it's not sewing because the needle with the thread will just go off the needle if i put back the thread the same thing will repeat the same thing will repeat itself so i had to stop because as you can see it started gathering thread here which is not making this sewing to be neat at all so i had to stop then i took a fabric and folded it into four or six layers and try to sew without using it on this anymore but i was not able to sew it because the thread would just go off the thread would just go off the upper thread to just go off the needle now hoping this part of the sewing machine let me turn the sewing machine on okay i removed this and this and opened it and tried to dust off inside here because you know when you sew for a long time it gathers um, dust from fabric or lithium and um, particles of um, fabrics they're always inside there so i dust everything off it wasn't even that much i cleaned everything insert everything back in place close it back but i was not able to keep sewing it keeps repeating the same thing so i turned it off and i was like okay in fact it's time for me to stop sewing because i've been sewing for a long time so i decided to be like let me leave the machine to relax i woke up this morning and i tried to sew again the same issues keep coming i'll just have to wait till nine o'clock or nine thirty 
to call the the place where i got the machine from and tell them that the machine is having issues if i can bring the machine today for them to service it or see what is going on this machine is not up to a year so i have to go take it back and see what i can do so far so good these are the things i was able to sew and finish i still have this ones that i need to finish with i already put in the elastic but i'll be using my other sewing machine to do this ones to finish with this ones where i take this current sewing machine for them to fix and that's one of the advantage of having more than one sewing machine here are um, all of these are size small because i want to do size small finish with it keep it apart do size uh, medium keep it apart do size large and then i'm finally done so this is size small and i already put in the labels the labels are in here as you can see i put in the labels and yeah i have to keep these apart because i'm done with this if i finish sewing the elastic band and finishing with this i also repeat the same process by putting the size of the bonnet here which is size small and this is what i use for my sizes i'm going to show you guys so this is what i use for my sizes i just have to peel it off here as you can see I just have to peel it off and put it on the product if you want to know how i was able to do this and you want to be able to do it for yourself for your small business the link to the video that i made is going to be in the description box below and i'm also going to be linking it up here as well it's time for me to call the people and then take the sewing machine to them to them i'm back and this machine was not having any issue everything was fine but the issue was the needle hey <laughs> i've not showed my face in this vlog no i don't think i've shown my face in this vlog okay um the issue wasn't the sewing machine the issue was the needle and i was very happy that my sewing machine is okay and it's not having any issue and um when i took the machine there the first thing that she asked me was where did i get this needle from did i get it from Lidl? <laughs> I'm not trying to bash Lidl or oh, if you are from the Lidl management, please, I'm not bashing you people. But Lidl tend to have things that are very, very affordable. And most of the time, these things are not of nice quality. They always have sales and people rush there to buy these things. And sometimes they're not very, very nice. So she thought that I got my needles from Lidl. Whereas I got my needles from the Chinese, a Chinese shop, which I think is even worse. <laughs> I got my bobbins and when I got the bobbins, I was having the needles inside. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it when I'm going to be, when I run out of needle. But because I was not, I was still having my, I was still having like the quality needles, the expensive needles. I was not having the number that I needed in the expensive needles but i was having it in the cheap needle so i had to take the number from there and that needle was not a good needle that's why it was gathering thread and the thread was always going off the needle then um, i ended up getting some needles from her i got um, three needles and these are the needles let me show you guys these are the needles that i got from her I'm happy that I took my sewing machine there today, number one, because my sewing machine was not having any issues, so that's something nice. Number two, I learned some new things about needle, because even the expensive needles that I was having, and I thought that was a nice quality needles, but she explained to me and she told me that even if those needles were expensive, but they weren't even nice at all. She had to tell me the brand that have nice needles and the ones that I shouldn't trust much. Even though the needles are nice, but they are not top. So I'm happy that I learned something new. And then she explained other things to me about um, sewing machine needles that I'm going to be making a separate video about. So let you guys know what I know before now and 
the new things that i've learned now about sewing machine needles i'm also going to go in depth about the types of needles that i got what each needle is for and also let you guys know the price how much i paid for these needles but this is where i'm going to be ending today's vlog because this baby is a bit tired and i want to be able to edit everything and finish with it today more vlog on my amazon is coming up how i package my item how i ship everything off to the amazon warehouse as an amazon fba seller and also we're going to be talking about how to open an amazon shop please if you're not subscribed consider subscribing don't you want to see this pretty girl's face again because i still want you to come around to watch my videos and i want you to be among my subscribers thank you guys for watching and ciao ciao